Hello children. Good morning to all. Welcome back to our mathematics class with your math teacher. Children, we already discussed about the chapter A Trip to Bhopal. In previous classes, we already discussed about a school is going to trip to Bhopal and their journey begins. They stop at petrol pump to fill the petrol to the buses. After that, they went to Bimbetka and they enjoyed there by seeing the paintings, caves, etc. Now, we, in this class, we are moving to the next part of the chapter. Lunch time. The children are hungry by this time. So, they take out their lunch packs. Biscuits, oranges and bananas are also distributed in all buses. Each child is to be given one orange, one banana and five biscuits. All the children take oranges and biscuits but 38 children do not take bananas. Here one question is given for us. Let us do the problem. How many oranges, biscuits and bananas are distributed? We know total strength of the school is 210. So each child is given one orange, one banana and five biscuits. So number of children taken oranges. So one orange is distributed. Ten children. Then how many oranges are distributed to the total children? 1 into 210 which is nothing but 210 oranges. Now let us see about bananas. One banana is distributed So how many children in that 38 students did not take bananas so we need to find out the children how many are taken that bananas so 210 minus 38 which is nothing but 172 so number of bananas distributed to 172 children is 1 into 172 each gets one banana 172 bananas were distributed to the children. Now, now we need to find out how many biscuits were distributed. 5 biscuits were distributed to Two hundred and ten children. So now total number of biscuits we need to find out. So five into two hundred and ten. So multiply it now. Five zero sir zero. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. So one thousand and fifty biscuits were distributed to the children. Manjit and Bhanu quickly finish their lunch and start asking puzzles to pass the time. Manjit, he is asking Bhanu one question. Tell me the number which is exactly between 100 and 150. Bhanu is thinking that so 100 to 150 how many numbers will be there? We need to find out the number which is exactly between. So here we will get 50 numbers. So we cannot write all the numbers here. So what we have to do is to find it. 
we need to add these numbers and divide it with 2. So here we will get 250 by 2. Then divide it 250 divided by 2. First digit is 2. So 2 ones are 2. Division is nothing but repeated subtraction. So 2 minus 2 we will get 0. Get down the next digit 5. Now in 2 table can we get 5? No. But we can, we can get 4 which is less than 5. So 2 twos are 4. Again do the subtraction 5 minus 4 1. Get down the next digit. We know that clearly 2 5 is a 10 which is nothing but 0. So what is the answer here? 125. So 125 is comes exactly between 100 and 150. Next, other children join in. Everyone is asking puzzling questions. Children, shall we join? We will do the puzzles now. Let us see the first puzzle. I gave four toffees each to four of my friends. And three toffees are left with me. How many toffees did I have? I gave four toffees each to four of my friends. That means each, each one gets four toffees here. And I am left with three toffees. How many toffees I have? So each one gets four. Four friends, get, each one gets four. Means four fours. How much it is? Sixteen toffees. And I am left with three. So plus three, which is nothing but nineteen. How many toffees in total I have? Nineteen toffees. Let us see another puzzle. What numbers can you make using 3, 5 and 7? You can make 357 and 537. What, uh, what are the others? Here children, we need to form 3 digit numbers. We should not repeat the digits here. Okay, we are given 3 digits 3, 5 and 7. So, let us see how many numbers can we form. First one, 3, 57. Next, 3, jumble these digits, 3, 75. Like that, 5, 37, 5, 73. Like that, 7, 35, 7, 53. So, in that, we have given 357 and 537. So what are the remaining? We need to write 735, 375, 573 and 753. These are the required numbers that we can form using these three digits. Let us see the another one. A number becomes double if it is increased by 8. What is the number? Here, a number becomes double. When we add 8 to 8, we will get 16. That means 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times is nothing but double of the number. So, what is the required number here? 8 is the required number. Now, let us see one more puzzle. Think of a number which can be divided by 2, 3 and 5 and comes between 25 and 50. Children, let us see the numbers between 25 and 50. These are the numbers we have between 25 and 50. Children, now we need to check the numbers which are divisible by 2, 3 and 5. Okay, uh, now first let us see for the divisibility by 2. Here, we know that 2 is an even number. So, you learned about even and odd numbers in the last, in last year. 
so here 26 is divisible by 2 28 30 the number ending with even number exactly divisible by 2 so these numbers are divisible by 2 now let us see which numbers are divisible by 3 so, 27 next 30 3 10 ja 30 we know that next 33 3 11 ja 33 next 36 next 39 42 45 48 now let us see about the number 5 we know that clearly any number ending with 0 and 5 exactly that those numbers are exactly divisible by 5 so 25 30 35 40 45 these are the numbers which are divisible by 5 45 and 50 these are the numbers that are divisible by 5 now we need to find out the common number which is divisible by these three digits 2 3 and 5 so let us see which one is common 30 is common in the three numbers any other number no only 30 is common for the three numbers okay children so what is the number that is divisible by the three numbers 2 3 and 5 30 is the required number children are you feeling interesting yes i know we are feeling very interesting to solve these puzzles we also try at home some puzzles let us see one more a small ant climbs three centimeters in one minute but slips down two centimeters how much time will it take to climb to two centimeters it is given small ant climbs 3 centimeters in 1 minute and slips down 2 centimeters. That means the distance covered by ant is 3 centimeters minus 2 centimeters which is nothing but 1 centimeter. We need to find out how much time will it take to climb 2 centimeters. So one se to climb 1 centimeter it is taking how, many, how much time? 1 minute. So to climb 2 centimeters, the time will be taken by the ant is 2 minutes. Let us move to the next topic. Which boat do we take? Which boat do we take? They are so lost in puzzles that they do not notice they have reached the lake. It is a very big lake with a small island in it. The lake looks very beautiful at this time. There are a lot of ducks making a loud noise. Some children give them popcorn. Now comes the exciting part. It is time to go for boating. Let us see the four types of boats. This is double decker boat. This is paddle boat. This is motor boat. And the last one is boat with oars. This is called oars boat. These are the four kinds of boats they have. Each has a different ticket price and also different trip times. Let us see the chart clearly. Children are very excited. They are discussing among themselves. Four of us will take a paddle boat and race with Gauri and her group. 
the other group they are saying we will take the motor boat it is costly but fun too some other children are saying like this let us take the war boat it is not costly and we get more time for a peaceful ride another girl is saying hey we are going on the double decker it is it also has music it costs a lot but we get more time like this they are discussed and they went for a ride they have to choose which boat to take but that is not easy they are different kinds of boats each has a different ticket price and also different trip times here is the table of uh, name of the boat ticket price and trip time it is given for us let us see children some questions are given for us based on the trips let us answer the questions indra and banu first went in the motor boat and then took the oar boat how much did they pay for both of the boats let us see the table here for motor boat what is the cost here for motor boat rupees 25 so for war war boat it is 15 so total money indira and banu paid for motor boat is 25 plus 25 which is nothing but 50 rupees money paid by them for war boat is 15 plus 15 so it is 30 so total money indira and banu paid for the motor boat and the war boat is total money for motor boat is 50 for war boat is 30 so 50 plus 30 which is nothing but 80 let us move to the next question how much time did they get for both rides for motor boat time is 20 minutes for war boat it is 45 minutes so time for motor boat ride is 20 minutes time for war boat ride is 45 minutes so total time is nothing but 20 plus 45 we will get 65 minutes one group of children went for the double decker trip they paid rupees 450 in total how many children went for the double decker trip children here it is given for us total many paid for the double trucker trip is 450 rupees here observe the table once money for double trucker trip is 30 rupees so total money spent by the group of children for double trucker trip is 450 paid for the double trucker trip per child is 30 rupees so number of children went for the double trucker trip is nothing but total money divided by ticket price per one child so 450 by 30 which is nothing but 15 children went for double decker trip which boat makes two trips in one hour one hour means 60 minutes very good from the table paddle boat takes 30 minutes to complete a trip so 30 minutes so paddle boats takes 30 minutes so 30 plus 30 60 means hence paddle boat will take two trips in 60 minutes 60 minutes means 1 hour which boat takes less than half an hour to complete a trip children we know that half an hour means 30 minutes less than half an hour means that less than 30 minutes which boat is given here s yes. motor boat takes 20 minutes for the trip hence the motor boat takes less than 30 minutes to complete a trip 
which boat gives them the most time taking the least money here observe the table once least money which boats are taking paddle boat and boat with oars so paddle boat takes time for 30 minutes and oar boat take 45 minutes so we know that the least money is taken by paddle boat and oar boat which is nothing but 15 rupees here the oar boat trip gives more time compared to the paddle boat but with the same amount therefore oar boat gives the most time taking the least money javed went twice for boating he paid a total of 40 rupees and boated for 50 minutes which two boats did he take observe the table where we will get 40 rupees for which two boats we will get 40 rupees for paddle boat and motor boat while adding the time also we will get 50 here so javed took paddle and motor boat total money paid by him is 40 rupees total time spent by him is 50 minutes from the table we can see that javed took the paddle boat and the motor boat trips which together cost him 40 rupees and the total time spent on the boats is 50 minutes it's time to return all the children return back to the school time to return children enjoy different boat rides till 4 o'clock it is time to return now they will not stop anywhere to reach back in 2 hours so they should reach hoshan bagh by dash o'clock they started by 4 o'clock and it will take 2 hours means 4 o'clock plus 2 hours which is nothing but they will reach hoshan bagh by 6 o'clock children i hope you understand the concepts in this lesson in next class we will meet with another chapter thank you children stay home stay safe